Hey guys, Becca here, and in today's video, I am going to be doing the fangirl tag. So, I know that most of you who watch my videos or know me think that half of this is going to be about the Dinosians. Well, I'm not going to mention them in this video. Well, obviously I will, but like, because most of them will be Luke Brooks or whatever, no. I'm not going to have the Genoskians aren't an option for me, so I have to pick any other celebrity or idol apart from them. So we'll just push them out of the way and get started! Now obviously this isn't an actual tag per se, it's, it was like a hashtag, it was a hashtag ask the fangirl, but um, no. So let's begin. The first one. First person you've ever obsessed over. Zac Efron. I think that is actually... As most girls, most girls' first obsession is Zac Efron. I mean, <laughs> I'd be surprised if it wasn't. I mean, I'd always used to get magazines, like, you know, those little kid magazines and teenage ones. Um, and then look at his picture and sort of flick through all the facts about him. His favourite animal's a liger. The last I would think, a cross between a tiger and a lion. <clears throat> I don't know. My current obsession. Can I? Oh, see, I would say the Janoskins for this one, but I can't. Um, right. My current obsession, apart from Janoskins or Luke Brooks, is Luke Hemmings from Five Seconds of Summer. Yes, I go for Australian boys with lip rings who can sing and play guitar. <sighs> yeah, actually, there's a pretty resemblance there. Favourite band? But I think it's the summer. <laughs> Favourite singer? Now, mm -mm. I'm guessing it means a solo artist, which I don't actually know. I mean, ugh. who do I like? You know what, fuck it, I'm going back to my old fandom. Liam Payne, there we go. Why not? Because I've just said Luke Hemmings and I don't want to keep repeating it. Or, or Brad, actually, from The Vamps, I don't know. Uh, Favourite YouTuber? Again, can't say it, not skins, so... It would have to be Dan is not on fire. Because he's the proper first YouTuber I watched, so then after that it would be um, Thatcher Joe. Definitely. First concert is the oh, okay. <laughs> I've only ever been to one kind of concert, and that's the Janoskians concert, so again that was something that I had to put in because so yeah, I've been to another concert. Um, favourite movie? I don't actually have one because I'm such a mo huge movie fanatic. I don't really have a particular favourite. I've never had that. Um, favourite actor or actress? <sighs> hmm. Again, I don't think I have one. Theo James is a uh, pretty good. <sighs> yeah, not just the acting. He's pretty good looking. <laughs> I've got to admit that. I'm just going to pick out some here because there's like 20 odd. Favourite book? Okay, my favourite book is Catching Fire from the Hunger Games trilogy. It's quite a good one. The film is nothing compared to the books at all. I'm so sad. Where did all my characters die? Where are my favourite characters? <laughs> Reminds me actually. I did cry last night because I was playing Minecraft story mode. I cried over Rube. Spoilers! If you don't like this, skip ahead a bit. If you do want to hear it, then keep watching. Um, I was so sad when like Ruben died because Oh my gosh, no, he's only blocks, like, he's a block on the TV, but oh, I was 
cut my heart out. It just turned to like pork chops and I started crying. No, no, I get too emotionally attached to characters. It's not good. Uh, you guys already know my favorite TV show. Favorite fictional character. It would definitely have to be Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time. My God. Is just perfect. Something I love about the fandom I own. Okay, so that I have to put the Jnod skins in. Um, it's because we're all just unique and random and there's not, and it's not like a very clicky thing. Um, we're all unique in our own way and it's, they're just, we're just like a really nice fandom. If you look at my Instagram, it'll explain who Janoskianators are, and that literally is it. We're just... We could be from different edges... What? <laughs> we could be from, like, different parts of the world and whatever, have different stuff in common, but it, we all just seem to get along. It, we stick out for each other as well. Stick out, look out for each other. It, it's a great fandom to be in, it really is. Something I hate about my fandom. Um, I don't think I really hate anything about my fandom. I mean, we tend to like, I'm in this group at the moment. We tend to argue a bit about celebrities because some people post um, Ariana Grande on there. And like, obviously, Jay and Ariana dated like twice or whatever, Ariana cheated on Jay with Nathan from The Wanted. And then obviously some people still like Ariana, and then you got some people, moi, who doesn't. So that tends to be an argument there. But other than that, we end up resolving our differences and being together. Would I ever take a bullet for the people I fangirl over? Now most people would say yes like that, but you got to think about it, when you're actually in the moment, somebody's pulling a gun to your favourite idol's head. So, so if someone's pointing a gun at Luke Brooks' head, would I seriously take a bullet for him? Would I risk my life just to save his? Or Hmm. I think I would. S I don't know. I say I would, but I don't actually think I would in the moment. Although I hope I would. I really do. I would take a bullet for him, but whether I'd do it in that moment, no one knows until you're in there because loads of stuff goes through your mind when you're in those situations. You can never possibly imagine or even get close to how it would really feel. If you were, uh, were well, if you were in that moment, so the other one is, do I ever hide the fact that I like someone out of fear of getting teased? I don't really know what this has got to do with fangirling, but um, no. But I guess at one point, everyone has hid, like, hid the fact that hidden, hidden the fact that they like someone. Um, but if it's a fandom wise, so let me rephrase that question, um, do you ever hide the fact that you like someone out of fear of getting bullied or teased? So do you hide the fact that you like this certain idol just so you don't get teased? No, because I'm proud to be in that fandom and I'm proud to like that certain person. <laughs> this is Justin Bieber then. <laughs> Who would be? Have I met any of my idols? Not personally, although my mum's my idol. So yes, technically. But um, again, if we're on about fandoms, no, I haven't. Because again, Janoskian's my um, idols. No, I haven't. Not personally. Um, I have re met. Uh, I have met Rosie Marcel from Hobby City, and o Orlando Bloom from Parks in the Caribbean, who played Will. 
who always used to come in the pub. My mum used to have his number and then she fucking lost it. She lost Orlando Bloom's number. <laughs> he sang happy birthday to me. <laughs> we used to get on quite well, but no. Do I have any merchandise of the people I found girl over? Obviously. <laughs> In my last video, I wore my dirty pig top, which is the merchandise of Janoskians. Oh, oh, solo singer, Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne, yes. And then I also have merchandise of hers, which is, which her clothing line is Abby Dawn. And I have um, some trousers that I just ordered. So, yeah, I have that. Uh, um, I have merchandise of pretty much every celebrity that I like. Um, Vance, Five Things of Summer, Janoskins, um, then, oh yeah, literally everything, Avril Lavigne even. One Direction, definitely One Direction because that was my. Oh, and JLS. Well, yeah. Posters count as merchandise. Favourite fangirl moment? My favourite fangirl moment? Ooh, that's a hard one. Um. I guess my favourite fangirl moment would be at a concert. Oh no, when we were in line, actually. Because, um, I was... Oh. Um, my favourite fangirl moment was definitely when, in the line, when I was waiting to go in to the most recent concert of the Janoskians with Joyce, and we met like two other girls. And, the Janoskians came out. Oh my god. And I touched Luke Brooks and Bo's hand. Oh my fucking god. I was so happy with that. Um, <laughs> that, and we were all like screaming, screaming. To them, we must look like complete nutters. And our faces must look so weird. But if we're quiet and look normal, they won't notice us. That's the only problem. So you have to be all out there. Or otherwise they don't notice you. But oh, that's got to be my favourite fangirl moment because... Or, no, actually, actually no. Um, when me and Joyce did the Rebelettes, we had like this Keek account that we shared and Joyce phoned me up and was like, um, is this our account? And then she said like, our username and I was like, yeah, I think so. She's like, right, well Bo followed us. So I'm like, what, are you sure that you're on our account? And then <laughs> we were like fangirling for like hours talking about how Bo actually followed us on Geek. Oh my God, and we kept thanking him and stuff, not that he really noticed it. And then we were getting all hyped up like, oh my God, he might see our videos and he might show the others and oh my God. <laughs> but I think it's because I put in the caption, yeah, we're just like the Janoskins, but girl version. I didn't expect him to actually see it. Oh my god, yeah. No, that is my favourite fangirl moment, I think. I'm not sure. It's between those two. But... but that was amazing. <laughs> um, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe down below for more videos. Please give me some video ideas for me for you, that you want me to do, because... I'd love to hear them, and again with the challenges, just do it on me. Just give me as many challenges as you want me to try, and I shall do them. Um, the Big Bang Challenge, again, I shall do, but I'm waiting a bit because I want to space out the challenges. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall see you in the next one.